Today I'll show you how to use object versioning with cloud storage and some examples of working with versioned objects. So as you can see, I've got a storage bucket already set up named Tiny Homes. And I've put a few photos of my favorite tiny homes in the bucket. So using our console, what we want to do is we want to type in the command gsutils versioning set on gs tiny homes. This will enable versioning for the tiny homes bucket. That tells cloud storage to create a new version of an object each time the live version of the object is overwritten or deleted. If I want to stop versioning, all I have to do is write this command, gsutil versioning set off gs tiny homes. If I ever need to see whether or not versioning is enabled, it's very easy to figure that out. We can just quickly write this command called gs versioning get gs tiny homes. And as you can see, if we get enabled, this means that versioning is enabled for this bucket. Now let's work with some version objects. Here is my tiny homes bucket filled with tiny home pictures. I've uploaded multiple versions of tiny home to this bucket. Only the most recent version is visible in the bucket, but I can see all the versions that have existed with this command. If I want to access any version that's not the most recent, all I need to do is just to append the generation number to the object like this. There, now you have it. You too can manipulate past or present versions of your storage objects.